and I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker, and this Monday nights are when we do our half hour Facebook live show. So I'm extremely excited now that I am here with everybody and we're going to have some fun. So we're going to make some hair bows, some wreath bows, gift wrap bows, and most of you who are my regulars will know that I give away a roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. So tonight, I'm gonna make a bow using the scrunchie ribbon. Um, I love this ribbon. It's just, it's like crinkly, and it, the crinkle kind of gives it sort of a diamond, cool look. So what I'm gonna do is get started. And you have to be on the live watching on Bodabra um, in order to win, but you'll win a free roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon, and it'll be picked near the end of the show. So I'm going to get started with our loud scrunchie ribbon. I'm going to grab some Bodabra bow wire and we do have it in gold, silver, and red. So I'll take the Bodabra bow wire. I'm going to use the gold and cut it here. And let's just get, okay, there we go. And I'll fold my Bodabra bow wire in half and just hide. Hi, Edna and hi, Marie from Louisiana. Thanks, you guys, so much for popping right on with me. So I have um, these pieces that are 24 inches long, and I'll just fold them in half and just kind of lay them down into my Bodabra. And um, take my other one. Now, I've already dovetailed the ends, and we'll go over dovetailing if you're unfamiliar with it um, at the, during, during the live, because we have a bunch of bows we're going to make. We have some hair bows. Last week I asked and everybody said they wanted to see hair bows and um, hair bows and wreath bows. So I decided we'd do those. And then this one could work as a really cool gift wrap bow. So now I'm gonna just scrunch this in and fold it over. And because this is a really thin ribbon, you can just fold it back and forth. You don't even need to twist. So we'll just fold this and fold it back and scrunch it in and fold it over and I'm just gonna scrunch it in and fold it back. And I have, I'm using about two and a half yards of the scrunchy ribbon. Um, and we'll scrunch that back and fold it over. And one more time, go back over here. Then I'm gonna take some of my silver scrunchie and how much did I put here? I've got about 26 inches. And just gonna scrunch that right into the center. And I'm sure that's so loud here. And um, so also, can you guys please share and let people know that we're live right now and I am looking for my Bodabra wand and it seems to have disappeared on me. Um, Remy's pointing to it. Is this, oh, okay. Is it on the table, Rem? No, that's the mini Bodabra. Yeah, so we'll find it. It will show up. I guess I better keep that one here. So now I'm going to take my wire, just pull it through the slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra, and I'm gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back, tie a knot, and tie another knot. And now I'm just gonna shape this out. Let's bring my tails down and just separate all of my loops. And I just love how this ribbon just sparkles. That's probably my, the, one of the funnest things. And I, I love how it can get crinkly but it still looks really cool. Kind of gets a diamond texture with the crinkles. So let me know what you think. And um, if you guys haven't already, I know a lot of you have, but if you haven't already, can you um, click follow so you'll get notified when we do new Facebook Lives. So just follow our Bodabra page. So now I'm gonna take this really pretty, I love this bow, and I'm gonna put this aside and um, we are going to make a little hair bow. 
So I'm going to exchange Bodabras. I'm going to take the mini and um, what I'm going to do, I have this ribbon here and Terry might be able to put up a link. I have 11 and a half inches and this is a three inch wide bow and I'm pretty sure that we have a link for this. So I'm just going to take the top and oh, I need to put my bow dabber bow wire in. And let's see here. Something's going funny. Bear with me for one sec, guys. Okay. Because um, I'm not seeing the comments. Now I see them. Okay, so I'm going to fold my, my wire in half and just tuck it underneath. And we're going to make a cute little ponytail holder. So I take the right side of this ribbon and I'm just going to scrunch this down. And then I'm going to take this side and put the right side of the ribbon down again. And then now with my um, hair bow tool, I can measure exactly. So I've got two inches on each side and I'm just gonna scrunch that down into the center. And then I have um, this ribbon and let's see, I've got, it's about a one and a half inches and I have nine inches of it. So I'm just gonna take the right side and put that down in here bring it back around, take the right side and scrunch that down. And then just go to the center and make sure my, my loops are even and scrunch it down. And um, then take my uh, pink corker ribbon. And as you guys that watch regularly know, I do not spend time making the corker ribbon. That I buy already made. So scrunch this down. And if you're interested in knowing where we get it, just go ahead and put it in the comment section. Pull that really tight while it's still in the bodabra. Pull it out, separate the ends, and bring it around to the back, I think. <laughs> and I'll tie it off and tie a knot. And then I'm just gonna tie this right onto my ponytail holder. So it's super cute. And if you have a puppy, um, you could easily make one for your puppy's collar and then you'll have matching puppy, puppy owner bows. <laughs> Gloria, thank you so much. I'm glad you thought that was really pretty. So now I'm just going to take this, shape it a little bit. And you have this super simple to make ponytail holder, or you could use a scrunchie on it as well. So now I'm going to set what, Remy? Uh, where you get the corker ribbon. Oh, um, Terry, do you have a link for that that you can put up? I think we do. Oh, she did put a link up? Okay, perfect. Um, so now I'm going to put this aside. And then we'll also put a link to where we buy this really pretty puppy ribbon too, because I think this is so cute. So now I'll put this one aside. And what am I making? Oh, we have another hair bow. Perfect. So we'll pull that there. And now, so let's see. Jill, you won before. Yeah, I know you. It's, I mean, it is so cool to win a free roll of scrunchie ribbon, I think. I love the scrunchie ribbon. So I'm going to take some of my Bodabra bow wire and clip it. And also, you know, something I haven't done in a while is I want to thank everybody who purchases ribbon and stuff from our, our Bodabra store. It really helps out in paying for the lives that we do and all the videos that we put out. And I don't know, also, I don't know if you guys are familiar, we actually have a Bodabra app. So um, you can download it for free from iOS, from iTunes, or from um, Android. And it gives you all kinds of projects. It's all the projects that go on our blog. Oh, let me tell you what I'm doing as I'm chatting. So I've got 28 inches of ribbon and I'm going to fold my ribbon in half and I'm going to take the right side of my ribbon and scrunch it down into my Bodabra. Now what I'm going to do is loop this side over, take the right side of my ribbon and you know what? Okay, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I am actually going to make this in the mini Bodabra. 
And the reason that I switched to the mini Bodabra is because to make, I, I've got smaller loops here. So to make the smaller loops, it's sometimes easier in the mini. So I'm going to now just fold this over, take the right side and scrunch that down and fold this over. Take the right side of the ribbon, put that down. And now I'll, I'm going to, I've made, I've made an X. So now I'm going to take the lower loop and just scrunch that in and then take my top loop and scrunch that in. And then I think I should have, I do, I have, um, this ribbon here, which is, I'm going to actually do this one first. So the purple ribbon is one and a half inches by 12 inches. And all I'm going to do is take the right side of my ribbon and scrunch that in, fold it back over, take the right side of the ribbon, scrunch it down, and now scrunch this in here. And okay, we are going to be making wreath bows soon. So please stay tuned if you want to see how we make the wreath bows. So now we'll take the right side of the ribbon. Oh, and really good news. Next week, Nick is going to be doing some, I believe, St. Patrick's Day. And he is a totally different style than I do. And he'll be making some wreath bows as well. So take the right side here. Bring this one in here. And now just scrunch this down. And then I have these really cute little flowers. And I think we have these roses. They come in a package of, I think, 72 individual and bunches of 12, and they're on sale, I believe, in our Bodabra store. So I'm just going to pull this through here, pull it tight while it's still in my mini Bodabra, separate the ends, bring it around to the back, tie it off, and I am not seeing the comments anymore, so something's going wonky. Um, with my feed. So now in order to tie this onto this cute little headband, I'm going to just feed it through on one side of the seam and then open this side up and feed it through on the other side of the seam, I think. There we go. And then I'm just going to tie this on here and just tie a knot. Clip the ends and come back and just shape out my bow and bring my roses around here, shape that there and bring this loop and then I'm going to actually fold this over here. So it's pretty, really simple, simple to make. and. You know, and I want to thank everybody who watches on YouTube and comments. It's like so cool when you guys watch the replays to have this really cute little hair bow or headband. Super simple. So now we're going to get on and we're going to make a wreath bow. I'm going to put this aside. Remy, are you seeing the comments? Yep. Okay. I'm not sure why I'm not getting them. Okay, here we go. So now I've got this wreath bow here, or the ribbon cut for the wreath bow, and we're going to get started. So I'm going to, and I see Gail, I, I, Denise Richardson is watching, and she's in our Bodabra fan gallery, and oh my gosh, some of the stuff she makes is so incredible. So I'm going to fold this in half, lay it down, tuck the ends underneath. Then this is part of our, actually, some of the ribbon we sell in our store, sort of our spring ribbon cap, which I really love because it's so bright and perky. And I have um, 20 inches of the three different ribbons. And I have already dovetailed the ends, but just in case you're new, I'll fold it in half. And I'm just going to cut right here at an angle, and that's how you get your dovetail. So um, now I'm going to just fold this in half and scrunch this down into my Bodabra. I'm going to take the purple and scrunch that down and then take this yellow. 
And then I have, we have all these pieces so like wonderfully cut. Um, here I have uh, 25 inches of a two and a half inch ribbon. I'm gonna take the right side and scrunch that in, bring it back around, take the right side of the ribbon and just scrunch this in and then just scrunch that in on top. What I love about this bow is it's a great bow. So I have another 21 inches here, right side, but you can use scraps of ribbon. So if you have the extra scraps, um, no one is ever gonna know that you used your extra pieces of ribbon in this bow. So now I have, this piece is two and a half inches by 13 inches long. I'm just gonna make another tail. So it's really super simple to do. And then this piece is uh, eight inches by two and a half inches. And just make another tail there. And I have this really pretty floral pick that I'm just going to lay in here. Just lay that right down into the bodabra. And then this piece is eight inches and I've already dovetailed it. I'm just gonna lay that in there. And I can do um, a little scrunch in the middle, but I'm not sure if you're even gonna see it because I have this gorgeous little yellow, it's a yellow burlap. Oh, you know what? I have one more piece to put in here that I forgot. Lay that in there. And I'm not gonna put that in and put this in here. And then you know what? I'll just scrunch this in at the end. And then I will take my wand and give everything a good push. And, oh, thanks you guys so much. Everybody who's shared, I, I really appreciate it. Pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra. I'm gonna pull it out. And this bow would look really pretty on a wreath um, or it could be beautiful on a package. You could even put it as a centerpiece. And that's what I love about these bows is they have so many different uses. Um, so I'm just gonna bring this and bring that up there, kind of scrunch that and bring my tails around, bring this tail there. And now just bring these tails down, bring this up and bring these around. And so is there anybody that's watching that's new? Oh, thank you for sharing, Gloria. I really appreciate everybody who watches and shares. And there you see, you have this really, like it's so pretty and it could be a beautiful centerpiece or a great wreath bow. So um, I hope you guys like it. I love the love that I'm getting. So now I'm gonna put this aside. And um, now we have another wreath bow. So we've got these all clipped together to make it a little bit easier for me when I'm making it. Um, so I'm gonna take my regular bodabra and I think I'm gonna use the silver bodabra bow wire on this because we have silver in the bow and I'll clip a piece. And don't forget everybody say I want to win so you are um, eligible to win a roll of the Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. Um, and now I'm gonna lay this here. I'm gonna put this around. And I have a piece, it's a 21 inch wide piece of mesh. And I've only got about 15 inches. And then this is a great, and I'm just going to scrunch this in. It's a great way to use your excess mesh. And then I have this piece here. Um, actually, this is one of our Bodabra ribbons and it's really glittery and I just love it. It's four inches wide, I believe, and it's 24 inches long and we've um, dovetailed the ends. So I'm just gonna scrunch this in here. And then I have this beautiful piece of blue ribbon that is 23 and a half inches by two and a half. And I'm gonna just lay this down in there. And then a one and a half inch by 24 inches and we're just gonna lay this in here. And I think this could be a really pretty um, centerpiece. So let me just, that's gonna come after. So now I have this piece here that is 25 inches and it's just um, a tail. I'm gonna lay that in there. And we have another tail that I believe is the same length. Yeah, it's 23 inches and it's a one and a half inch wide ribbon. And now I have another one. So we're just putting a whole bunch of tails in here. 
I'm actually going to grab this piece here that is 18 inches and just kind of lay that in. So we're just sort of mixing and matching all of our different tails. And I just think this makes a gorgeous centerpiece bow. Lay that down in there. And I have another tail that is 23 inches. So they're all pretty much, you know, the same length. And this one is the same length here. And now I have another piece of our mesh. And this is, I think we call it a glitter mesh, but I'm not 100% sure. So take the right side and scrunch this down. Hi, Kay. And hi, Annette. And again, take the right side, put that down this way, go to the center and scrunch everything down. And I have another one that is 16 inches. I'm just going to take the right side of it, lay that down, fold it over, lay that in there. And then you have this little, and then I have this really pretty, um, it almost works for Mardi Gras with the little feather, put that down in the center. And I'll take my wand and just give everything a little bit of a push. And one of the things you'll notice is when the bodaver starts getting really full, um, the towers will come together. So you just have to kind of push them apart a little bit. Then now I will take my bodaver bow wire and pull it through the slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in my bodaver. I'm going to take it out, separate the ends. So, I mean, how super simple was that? And I'm going to tie a knot, tie another knot, and I'm going to clip my ends and just shape this out. And um, you have this, like, is that not, like, so super simple? And what you could do is lay it flat and... Um, if I, if I lay it flat on the table, I can put like a candle here and a candle here and it would make a really beautiful centerpiece. So I hope you guys like this. And um, also, I, I see it just popped on the screen to join our Bodabra Fan Gallery. Definitely join our Bodabra Fan Gallery. It is so much fun and we have such amazing creative people. And now I'm gonna take my glitter grabber here because I've got glitter all over everything and this just works like magic to pick up the glitter. I don't know if you guys are seeing how amazing this is for picking up glitter. It's like the best thing I've ever found. So um, I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to make a little ribbon flower um, in the mini Bodabra and this is really fun and this could be really pretty. You could just make it bigger and put it as a wreath bow. So I'm just going to grab some Bodabra bow wire and I'm going to fold it in half and I think um, like we'll make some more ribbon flowers starting in March. Because um, I'm so excited, I can't believe, I mean, I know a lot of you live in colder climates than where we are, but we actually have our cherry blossoms starting to bloom, which is kind of cool. So these pieces are seven inches, and I've just cut the points on them because they're going to be like my leaves of my flower. So i um, just going to lay these in. I've got three pieces. And as you can see, I'm just sort of shaping them as I go. And these are wired ribbon, um, which when you see when we do the flower it kind of makes it a little bit easier to shape and we will be making flowers during our lives in march as well as wreath bows and doing some wedding stuff as well um and so now i have these and we've just curved we've just sort of cut a curve on the end we'll just lay these down in here did i even tell you how long they were they're five inches before we cut the curves so we'll just lay these in and so how many of you have made flowers with the bodabra before let me know and if you have um, made the flowers please post pictures in our bodabra fan gallery oh and the other thing which i almost forgot to talk about is um lay that in there and then um, i'm gonna just take my ends bring them up pull it through my slip knot. And as soon as I'm done with this bow, I'm gonna make one more, like a real simple 
um, wreath or um, a wreath bow. So I'm going to separate the ends, bring it around to the back. I'm going to tie a knot and double knot it. And I can just tie this. Um, let's shape this first. And so the reason that I, that I like the wired ribbon is because it's really easy to shape my flowers. And this could be even really pretty for a hair bow for like a wedding. And I'm going to grab, I thought I put them on the table. Maybe I didn't. Um, whoops, I guess I didn't. Excuse me for that. And I'm going to grab one of my zots. And I'm just going to put this on the back of this little flower and put that right in the middle just to add a little decor to it. And I'm going to grab a hair alligator clip and I'll show you how we tie this onto the alligator clip. So I want the top of the clip to be against my bow and I'm just going to wrap this around here and probably wrap it like twice around that way and then take this one and wrap it twice around the opposite way and then just bring them down here and I'm just going to tie a knot there. And we should be having the winner coming up really soon. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you didn't see last week's, we are doing a Carbo contest. So you have to be a member, which is free to join, it's not a big deal, um, of our Bodabra fan gallery. So isn't that adorable? And just so super simple. And it's just a cute little hair clip. So I'll put that aside. And as promised, I'm just going to make a really quick and simple wreath bow. Remy's trying to get my attention. Somebody said, do you deliver to Canada? Um, we do sell on Amazon in Canada. So right now, we don't ship to Canada, but Amazon.com has our product has um, the Bodabras and you can buy from there or you can also buy from Michael's in Canada. So now I'm just going to take some Bodabra bow wire and now let's see, whoops. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to look at, um, so, but we have had winners from Canada. So we, should, we will ship to our winners out there, but, um, but as far as shipping our product, not yet. And hi, Francis. Okay, so we've got 33 inches and I've already dovetailed the ends. I'll just fold that in half and lay this. So this is just a super, super simple um, um, wreath bow. So I'm just gonna start. Um, okay, you're trying to tell me something. Oh, the winner. Where's the winner? I don't see the winner. Regina Hoffman. Oh, Regina. Awesome. So Regina Hoffman is our winner and Remy will post that up there. So I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take, it's about probably three yards to three, my unofficial measuring and just clip this and I'll show you really quickly how to make a super simple wreath bow. So now I'm just going to twist this. I'm having, sorry, you guys, I'm having trouble um, getting all the comments for some reason. It's, I don't know what it is, but at least Remy's there to tell me and I can see them when they're posted up. So we're going to twist it and I'm just going to fold it back. And the really cool thing um, with the Vodabra is, so we'll fold that there. And I am using a wired ribbon. You don't have to use wired ribbon, but I prefer it because it's so much easier to shape. But I have had requests from people who want me to make bows um, without wired ribbon, and I definitely will be doing that in some of our videos. And just as a reminder, um, oh, I'm twisting everything up here. I think that's why, um, why Nick always turns the bow dabra when he makes the bows. It's funny because some people have to turn it to make them and me, I can't do it if I have to turn it. So I actually want a bigger bow than this. So I'm just going to stop there and I'm going to take a little bit more of my ribbon. And 
And oh my gosh, everybody, thank you so, so much for sharing. And all I'm gonna do is just keep going. So this is what's cool is if you get to the end of the roll or you run out of your ribbon, you don't have to stop making your bow. You can just continue. And this will be a really pretty like winter wreath bow. So we'll just fold this back or even wedding pew bow. This would be pretty twist. And I'm just gonna fold it back here and take this and do this here. And then I'm going to take my wand and just sort of scrunch everything down into my bodabra and pull this up, pull it through my slip knot, tight while it's still in the bodabra. And you know, the cool thing about these bows is they work for wreaths, they work for um, chair bows or pew bows or a gift wrap bow. And I'll just knot that. And then now we have to shape it. So I'll shape it by bringing my loops in here, bringing my loops in opposite directions and taking these and just, I just bring all my loops in opposite directions here and just pull my tails down to the front. And you have a super easy but beautiful wreath bow. So, I hope that you have enjoyed our show. Nick will be here on Monday, next Monday, and he'll be doing the live, and he's amazing. So I know you guys will love his, um, his bows that he'll make. And I wanna thank everybody for tuning in, thank all of you for sharing, and please don't forget to follow Bodabra on Facebook. See you soon, bye.